I think it's new monitor day. So this is mainly what we're talking about. This is Microsoft Windows 10 Pro OEM key CD key, and this is a global version. What we need to do is go down to buy now, click on buy now, it's gonna send us over to the processing page. From this page, we've got a few things. We've got the product we're buying, which is the Microsoft Windows 10 Pro OEM key global lifetime. But in the promotion code, if you type in the promotion code SKJT, what it's gonna do is further reduce the price down from 16.55 down to 12 pound 41. Now that's a savings of four pound and 14 pence. So from here, what we need to do is actually submit order. I use PayPal because it's what I use every day. So I'm going to go through PayPal and I'll be back in a minute. So there we go. There's my order. As we can see, it's a Windows 10 Pro OEM key and my order number. So what we need to do from here is actually click on view keys and code. So I'm going to do that now. So click get the key. And as we can see at the bottom here, mine's blurred out, yours won't be. This is the key we need to put into the activation settings to activate Windows 10 Pro OEM key. Then what I need to do is go down to my settings. Up at the top, type in activation activation settings from here it says change product key so i'm going to click on change so obviously mine's there it's blurred out at the moment all we need to do from here is click on next click on close and you're done and dusted i'll get this unboxed get it all built up and we'll go from there right so i'm going to get everything out and then we're going to get this built and actually see what we're working with so i'll get everything out first and then we'll go for the parts so we do have the bottom base stand We have the arm and leg that's going to go onto the bottom base down to the monitor. And then we have the monitor itself as well as some instructions and all that good stuff. So I'll get this out and see what we're working with. Which is where my monitor is going to go. I'm going to show you what it looks like on the actual leg stand, but I'm going to be mounting mine uh, to the uh, my boom arm bracket that I've got behind me. So that's what we're going to do. But everything is pretty self-explanatory we do get a few little bits of mountain hardware for the actual back of it so if you are going to mount it they do give you some very small spaces because most x mounts are normally flat so they do give you them you do give you the energy rating which unfortunately is one is an f so it runs about 32 kilowatt hours per thousand hours so yeah uh, we do get a little warranty card so we get everything we need to know about it so all the instructions um, and a very extensive user manual. So if you want to read it, be my guest. But what we need to do is actually get this installed. So the good thing about this is that the leg bracket itself already has a pre-installed screw, which, let's see if I'm gonna close up of that, if my camera's gonna zoom. So we do have a pre-installed one there going on. Sorry, I'm watching the camera at the same time. So what we can do is just get this installed extremely easily. So we get our actual bracket, pop that into that, and then we just simply screw it in. There is a flat head on the bottom of it, so you can, if you want it tighter, you can use a flat head. Or there is like a half ring bar on it. And then you're pretty much done. That was about it. And then we'll get the monitor itself. So the monitor doesn't need any hardware, it just hooks in. Try it this way, because for some reason it just doesn't want to clip in. I don't know if I'm doing anything wrong here. Uh, I already know what I've done wrong straight away. <laughs> There we go. So there's two clips at the top, and then there's another two clips at the bottom that slide underneath. I wasn't doing that, hence why it wasn't working. So it's no fault of its own, but while I'm here, I am going to peel off all this plastic. Okay, so first off, <laughs> a little bit of a struggle to get it actually installed, but not actually too bad. So with the stand itself, you don't get, like, you don't get horizontal tilt. You only get, like, I think it's pan. So you do quite a bit, so you've got all the way down, so it's facing downwards. Or you do have quite a large amount for it to face up. So it is it is actually quite a nice stand. I'm not going to be using the stand. I used to use them, but I've currently went to actually mounting them onto the, either the wall or I have um, Bontech double arms for monitors now. And it's quite handy that I've already got a 32-inch curved monitor, so these two will go quite nice with my vertical Acer 27-inch as well. So kind of plays... Yeah, no. It kind of plays quite a good part but i have to admit overall like i said i have been using this for a couple of days been editing with it been gaming normal gameplay or all that good stuff and ironically it's done really really well 
So like I said, this is a 32 inch curved monitor. I can't remember the ratio of curve, but I don't know. And it is rated at 240 Hertz uh, refresh speeds as well. So that's pretty cool. The older series one was only 165 Hertz, uh, but the newer ones are now 240. Uh, I do have one of the older 32 inches downstairs at the moment, but I am going to be swapping that out uh, with another one of these. So I'll have dual 240 Hertz refresh rate monitors. And it's just more for your quality, just so they look uh, a little bit similar. So this is a full HD monitor and it is, I think it's Vision Care a, a certified or something, or it's a Vision Care display. So overall pretty good. Now on the bottom of the actual monitor, well, one minute, we'll start off on the side. So on the back side of the monitor, we do have air vents coming in from both the top as well as some on the bottom on either side. And then they have added this like little red accents going on. I'm not sure why. Um, obviously nine times out of 10, your monitor is going to be facing away from you unless you're looking at the back of it for some reason. Um, but that's where it is. They do have the four mounting ports for if you want to use a Versa. I think the Versa X or something. So these kind of mounts going on right there. They're the mounts that I'm actually using at the moment to mount my other two. Um, very good. I'll put some links in the video description if you want to see them as well. But like I said, Acer monitor, 32 inch, 240 refresh rate. You do have your menu option buttons on the side here. On off switch as well as four uh, menu buttons, which is just for your basics. You know, mess around with the display, the change of colors. Uh, and the one thing I did like is that this one actually comes with audio. It has built in speakers. The older one, the EDO series... Um, I think that's a 2020 or 2021 uh, didn't come with speakers so you couldn't actually use audio with it you would have to have an external source either headphones or speakers etc but this one does have built-in speakers and ironically they're not too bad they're, they're monitor speakers they're not built to be the best in the world but they're there just in case you do not have the availability for actual uh, speakers so on the bottom of this guy we do have the actual power supply uh, the power supply that does come with is a plug, but it also looks kind of like um, a laptop charger. Sorry, I've got it plugged in at the moment. And it's just basically a simple UK plug to a circular uh, port that goes into the bottom of the monitor. We do have two HDMI ports as well as one display port. And as well as your basic uh, audio jack as well for your 3.5mm jack. Now, the one thing I did forget to mention on the bottom here, you do have rubber grommets or rubber feet on both sides as well as the back. Very thick rubber, so no matter what area or what stanchion you're sticking this, you're going to be fine. It's not going to cause any damage, so don't worry about that. That's if you are using it. If not, you will have to get yourself some mountain hardware, mountain brackets to actually get this either on the wall or a mount. Uh, but I have to admit, all in all, pretty good. So what I'm actually going to do is get this put onto the wall. Uh, not onto the wall, onto the stand. And we're going to do a little bit of gameplay. I'm going to roughly show you what it's all about. We'll do a little bit on OBS as well as a camera. Uh, so we'll go do that now. So as we can see we've got everything set up, obviously we've got one monitor on the left which is the vertical one, we've got the new monitor going on there which is holding the Osbot 4K, and we've got a bit of Call of Duty in the background, turn that down so it's not as annoying, and then obviously we've got the new monitor there right in the middle, so I will show you in just a second how to make sure that it is running at its full capability of the 240Hz, very very simple, and then we do have the old style uh, 30 inch a 32 inch OED series but this is I think either a year old or two years old because uh, this one only supplies HDMI 165 Hertz full HD and this one is this one is uh, 200 240 Hertz yeah 32 inch uh, EDO series 240 Hertz and obviously I'm going to show you how to exactly get that set up what we're going to do is do a little bit of gameplay um, so I hope you guys enjoy of me absolutely failing at Call of Duty. So I have to admit, over all in all, it's not it's not one of the world's best monitors in the world. I like the fact that it's a 32 inch monitor. I like obviously the size. You've got everything from the Acer logo. You've got the easy accessible buttons at the back, which I do like. I think that's the only bad thing about mounting them on bars, uh, especially behind, that you've always got to fiddle around to make sure everything's in the right place. And we're good, right, it's fine. So let's play a little bit of Call of Duty. Nothing exciting's gonna happen, but hey, you never know. We are only playing Vanguard, so don't worry. Oh, he was stood right behind us. Well, no, he was right above us, shall I say. Oh. So we are playing hardcore mode, trying to get all them, uh, them skins you know what I mean trying to get atomic obviously
obviously it's not going very well at the moment. But I have to admit, with the 240 um, hertz refresh rate, like there's just certain things like the blur going from left to right. I don't really seem to get. I oh, know I'm dying, but I'm trying to talk. You don't really get the blur that I'm getting. Obviously, I know it's a little bit different watching it on a camera. Obviously, from your own point of view, but ironically, it's really smooth. Like, I know there's some monitors out there with some amazing, you know, one milliseconds, all that good stuff, but I will put up a few um, uh, features and description with some videos, and we'll do that. Right, I'm going to leave that because I'm not concentrating, and on your main homepage, right-click and go to display settings. I've got three monitors, so obviously you can adjust your different monitors here. The number one is the one in the middle, which is the new uh, EOD 32-inch Acer, and we've got a few things. So we can't identify these, just make sure we are using the right one. So what we need to do is go down to where it says advanced display settings. Don't go to graphics, you won't get anything. Advanced display settings. And then we've got display adapter properties, display one. Go through this, just to, it's a bit easier. Not everybody's got Windows 11, which is right there. Go over the top monitor, and then it's got the refresh rate. So we've got all the way down to 50 hertz, all the way up to 240. What you need to make sure is that is on 240. Click on apply, click on okay, you're done. If you're on Windows 11, obviously we do have the drop down bar here, which we can just select 240 hertz, and you're pretty much done and dusted. If you've got more than one monitor, you can go obviously scroll through. This one's 164.92, and the other one is only 74.97, so 75 hertz. So as we can see, the old school, the older one was the ED320QR. This is the ED32QX. So it's the updated version, the better version of what you can call. Obviously, what we've got is 240 uh, hertz refresh rate, which is pretty cool. So, yes, like I said, this is a full HD 32-inch screen that offers a full HD resolution of 1920 by 1080p uh, for a sharp and smooth gameplay experience, even at the highest of settings. The mind-blowing 240 hertz refresh rate takes your gaming to a new level, letting you push your frame rates like you have never done before. Now, one of the great things, it does come with Adaptive Sync. Provides the best gaming experience for syncing your monitor to a compatible graphics card for seamless, distraction-free gameplay. With that amazing 1 millisecond response time, with lightning fast response time, you can never have to worry about the blurring effect or anything annoying distracting you while you do your gaming. Please do check the links in the description. Links are there for both monitors, so please go check them out and let me know how you feel in the comment section below. So there we have it guys, we have the new monitor all plumbed in, we have the old 32 inch monitor which I'll also put in the links in the description as well up on the cards, but we have the new monitor going on right here, difference being 165 hertz, the new monitor being 240 hertz, so it's definitely an upgrade from my part. So all in all, if you did enjoy this video and you need any help whatsoever deciding on monitors, whether it be the older version at 165 hertz, or the newer version at 100 no at a newer version at 240 hertz please let me know in the comment section below i'm more than happy to help but as always don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any videos and have a good day especially have a good gaming day peace